The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe is a favourite story with children of all ages. The book by C.S. Lewis has been serialised by BBC TV. Well, with me I have the Snow Queen actress Barbara Kellerman and Sophie Wilcox, who plays Lucy, the first of the children to discover Narnia. Well, Sophie, thanks very much for coming in, because you've actually got out of double games to come yeah. here, haven't you? <laughs> Are you glad to have got out of it? Yes, because it's lacrosse and I prefer netball. <laughs> <laughs> well, Barbara, we saw you there looking extremely glamorous as the Snow Queen. It must have been wonderful to, to be able to act such a thoroughly bad hat sort of part. Yes, totally evil. No redeeming qualities at all. It was wonderful. Some amazing special effects as well by the look of it. That's right. Well, there is a lot of uh, animation that's been introduced into this, which I think put the budget up a lot, didn't yeah. it? Sophie? <laughs> well, they always say it's absolutely fatal to work with children and animals, yet here you are with a lion, a load of horses, and four very. Well, <laughs> well Sophie children. was impossible, I'm sorry. She <laughs> was. <laughs> Oh, thank you. No, I don't, there's so much of the child in me anyway that I sort of identified rather than found any conflict at all. And, 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 the, and the witch is so, so totally against mankind and humankind and animal kind and everything else that, that she has no trouble at all. I mean, she just zaps them and turns them into stone. And I sort of imposed myself that way on the children occasionally <laughs> and it sort of seemed to work terribly well. <laughs> well, Sophie, had you actually read the Chronicles of Narnia beforehand? Well, I'd read um, Lion, Witch and the Wardrobe, but I hadn't, hadn't got on to, like, Prince Caspian and all the other six books. But I, I thought the Lion, Witch and the Wardrobe was the best book. Now, what was the best part of filming it? Because it all looked very cold and, and ferociously oh, yeah, freezing there. Yeah, Where did you film all that? Well, we did the snow scenes in Aviemore, which is in Scotland. And then we did about ten weeks here in television centre, and then six weeks in Sam Row B. So we, there was a lot of travelling. But what do. was the Scottish bit like? It looked freezingly cold. It was, was it very cold? cold, but luckily we had our fur coats. But Barbara and had this <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she was absolutely freezing. She had That's right. So the, the, in fact, that beautiful piece of fur that you see is pure nylon. <laughs> And, and it was so no perishing. polar bears have been killed for that then. <laughs> no, 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 thank God for that. I would have felt a bit, bit awful about mm. that. But uh, so how did you keep your hands and feet warm? We had this, we had these little kind of like tea bag. They're like the tea bags, and they were filled with charcoal or something, right. and it, they generate heat. And they, they were really hot, weren't they? And hot water bottles between oh, my yeah. legs, in my <laughs> case, and thermal yeah. underwear. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we said that they're children's classics, but I think they've got an awful lot of appeal. Those books for everybody, haven't they? Yeah. Did you find that all the grown-ups got drawn yeah. to it as well? <laughs> yeah, because my gran um, hadn't heard of it. Um, she'd heard of it, but she hadn't actually read it. And when she read it, she thought it was a really nice book, just as it was... Really? As, yeah, she really liked it. I think it's for adults as well. I mean, you can't really say it's a children's program. It's got quite yeah. a lot of religious echoes, hasn't it, in it, with Aslan being rather like Christ yeah, and, yeah. you know, dying at the end. Yeah, I think C.S. Lewis put a bit of religion into it, didn't he? Really? There, there is the allegory there, but we, we've played it down very much. I mean, it, it's there because it's there, but, but, but we haven't sort of yeah. laboured it in any way, have we? We've just sort of followed the story mm. rather than sort of put yeah. um, choral music yeah. <laughs> <laughs> upon a resurrection yeah. or whatever. <laughs> what was the best part of the special effects for you? Because it must have been very difficult, because you must have had to act against a blank backdrop, must Oh, uh, yeah, there was one bit when Aslan's going over the wall, and for that, I think it showed in the... Um, and it's kind of like we had to have harnesses. <laughs> it was so painful, but it was so much fun going up and having to sit on the line. It's really, it was just. So it was very much flying as though yeah. you were Peter Pan in a pantomime yeah. or something. <laughs> That's something I've always longed to do. I'm yeah. sorry that it's very painful. It's quite painful, but it, the funness and the excitement of doing this is painful. It's just really good. That's mm. my favourite bit. So are you going to be a, a full time adult uh, actress? Yeah, do you I'd hope? really like to. Because really, you're not really. actually at an acting school, are no, you? No, it's a normal school, but I think it's very important to get your kind of like education done first. Because, I mean, acting is such a, you mm. know, you can't go in, into it and expect to get jobs after job after job. So I'm going to study on my education and then... That's for sure. She sounds <laughs> very realistic, <laughs> yeah. Barbara. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Sophie's got her head screwed on far more than me. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> in fact, most of the children did. They, they were organising yeah. me during the filming, weren't they? <laughs> well, I think you've both got your heads very well screwed on. I'm very much looking forward to seeing it. It looks gorgeous from those effects. Sophie, Barbara, many